Hello and welcome. This is Dee from Dee's Fine Art and today I'm going to be working on this painting or actually I might just do one thing which is remove the tape. So um, I expect it whoop, I expect it to be quite challenging to do so. I'm not sure if you can see that right there but here you go. Um, because uh, because of all the texture it's very hard so here goes nothing and we'll see what happens. All right, so I got this frog tape. I'm going to try to very gently pull it off without leaving tape on, which is challenging. Whoop, whoop, piece on, I'm staying on. Not sure if you can see that, but yeah, there we go. Okay, this one has reached that junction, the other tape. I guess I need to do that tape first, that side first. Um, or I will just cut the tape off. This side might hopefully be a little easier. As I'm removing it, all you can see really is the black canvas underneath it. Uh, but that's part of the design. Empty cup, all good. one of those. There we go. Well, so far this is coming off much better than I expected. And I think it's because I didn't leave it too long. Um, so the longer you leave the tape on, in my opinion, the harder it becomes to remove it. It's like the adhesive becomes extra strong or something like like it sticks on for too long so it's harder to take off I don't know if that's actually true but it's just an observation I've had um, if you use frog tape let me know what you think because uh, I could be totally wrong about this but um, I've seen in a couple other paintings where I left it too long and it was just like a bit of a nightmare to take off Very nice, easy peasy. One thing you'll notice here is that the, this tip here is white um, and as well as here because I guess the paint didn't uh, like seep in under the, the tape, which is good, but it does mean that I will need to do something about that or, you know, figure, a way to, uh, figure out a way to incorporate that into the painting. So my original plan was to put gold leaf in uh, these areas, but I'm actually really, really liking this painting on its own, <laughs> like without the gold leaf. So, um, so we'll see once I have removed everything and look at it if, if I want to keep it this way. I think which I, I think I might. Well, whoop. Take this piece. Clean them off too. There we go. All right. So this is 
what it looks like. Am I crazy or does it look really good? <laughs> Maybe too dark for some people. I don't know. Uh, I need to cover up like this uh, swipe. Oh, what's this? I just want to make sure that this is not actually tape. Nope, it is not tape. trying to even this out so it's a straight line um <clears throat> yeah it looks like I just need to fill in a few spots with black paint which shouldn't be too hard I'm going to try to do that gently using the same paint I used to make it Feel like I'm ruining it because of oh or maybe I could just wipe it with a towel after I messed it up like that and just like this okay, that did not do anything <laughs> the paint that I don't like is still on there maybe it needs to be wet okay let's try it wet Still going to use my weirdly murky water, <laughs> uh, mostly because I don't have any other water available here right now. There we go. Once this dries, it'll be easier to see whether that helped. Okay, I see that it did not help because I can still see that paint on there. But it's not as obvious as it used to be, so that's good. Oops. All right. I'm going to do a little bit more of that, but I'm going to try to limit the... This is working pretty well. Okay. I just need a little more paint. Maybe I should just pour some into my palette. That way it'll be easier. I don't have to hold the bottle. Okay, it's fairly uniform. <laughs> Town method is nice and all, but it's pretty hectic. So then we have to like move all over this. So I think it might just be better to 
cover it fully with this. And then in all cases, I don't really want to leave blank canvas showing, so maybe I'll paint it anyway. So it might not be a big deal. At this point, I'm just getting sloppy, <laughs> but uh, like I said, I've been thinking about it and now I think that I'm going to have to paint these anyway, um, so I'm not too troubled if there is black paint on them as long as it's not textured, um, so then I can paint over it or, you know, add gold leaf over it or whatever I want. should not actually need this at all, but looks like some areas might have not gotten good coverage through the tape. So when I first started painting, um, or you know, like trying to do it professionally, um, back in 2017, uh, I mean, I started painting like 15 years ago or more, but like I only started doing this, you know, as a business um, in 2017. And back then, I I was like searching online for like techniques, you know, like I thought maybe each brush had a different technique and. Like, I thought there might be, like, guidance on that. And uh, really all I found were artists doing what I was already doing. Um, so, like, it didn't seem like there was a good answer to that question. Which is fine by me. Um, but as you get more used to it, you, you do sort of know what brushes to use for what. But I don't feel like there is a good, like, guide for it. Um, at least I couldn't find one when I was looking, you know, five years. Oh my God, that's six years ago. Jeez, it's 2023, Dina. Wake up. All right. Um, oh my gosh, that's been a while. Last few boxes here. It can be quite challenging to get the paint right where you want it when it's a, like a thin ledge like this. Speaking of brushes, maybe there is a better brush for this. 
<laughs> uh, but I personally think a flat uh, is the way to go here because it, I want to just use the tip of the brush. And it's a mostly straight line. Oh, I'll need to look on the sides as well to make sure. Oh, like for example, here there's a bunch of white showing. So I can just cover that up while I'm at it. Okay. I'm trying to be careful to hold the areas that I haven't put paint on. there are these areas where the canvas is showing through even though I'm quite sure I thoroughly covered this canvas I mean it's textured even that which means that I used a lot of paint so I don't understand why some of this is like like it's not covered I'm just trying to blend in the little paint um, like, oh, sorry. yeah, I'm just trying to blend it in now so it doesn't look like I painted over it. <laughs> um, so. oh. Okay, I don't know where that went. But there we go. Anyway. side here there is quite a bit of white as well on the very textured stuff and actually the textured stuff itself could use a little black paint as well so you can still see sort of see the the white under it like just just not like not it's not white it's more like grayish but it's still there A little chip of white there getting rid of that and here and here oh, this one's actually a chunk of like a little hole in the molding paste that needs filling to be black okay there we go oh damn <laughs> i did it of course should have put on my gloves Okay, well, apart from these little white chips that I'm trying to remove now, I think this looks pretty done for this part. Like, uh, I'm just gonna do the edges again, like just the outside edges. Looking good. This one needs a little more coverage here. Okay. Finding more spots over here. I don't really need the tape anymore because the lines are pretty well established. So like even if I'm going to touch up some of these um, texture by adding more texture to them or whatever I want, um, it's pretty, pretty easy to do that without the tape now.
Okay. That's looking good. So now looking at this painting from this side up, like from up the side sideways, I guess, I can see things that I didn't see before. Um, so that's a good good thing I looked. Because <laughs> I can see, for example, like uh, white spots in here that I hadn't covered. Okay, I think that is good for now. Oh, nope, there is one more piece I need to do, which is the bottom here. That seems to require more paint than I've got. I've already used up all the paint I put out there. So I'm gonna take a little more from here and just finish that up. Because this one had, you know, it stuck to the easel, so it took off some uh, yellow paint with it. So that yellow paint was still uh, sort of showing up here, so I need to cover that better. Okay. I'm gonna see if just like painting this a very thin layer of black works well. to try to keep this layer very thin which will mean sometimes I having to wipe some of the paint okay now at least you know canvas won't be showing through <laughs> which uh I don't know if you if you listen to or watch much tutorials they'll tell you you don't let your canvas show, show through <laughs> if your canvas is showing through you haven't used enough paint common uh mistake the canvas from this side. I'll now turn this upside down. Just to get the tops here. Make sure this all has good coverage here. Yep, looking good. All right. Now I'm gonna go sideways.
bottle is almost empty. I'm getting close to being empty. down here. too much paint. Okay. There we go. I think I liked it better when it was just canvas <laughs> than when I turned it black. Or rather the same black. I was already it was already black canvas, but the same black as all the others. Um, so I don't know. I might I might add some color to it. I'm starting to think of like what could I do? I feel like I, I don't want to do the gold leaf anymore. Um, it might be too like tacky. Uh, also I can't find my gold leaf it's somewhere lost in the studio. And uh, so instead I might just thinking I could use like bright colors maybe like rainbow colors behind it like so it's like it's like there are these nine squares in front of you and there's colors behind them okay well, I'm going to stop there uh, for now because I'm going to let this dry um, and still and think a bit more about what I want to do with it um, going forward before I start working on it. Uh, I may need to, if I'm going to like paint over these with something other than black, I'm going to need to like tape the edges a bit um, so that I don't add the color to these. Acrylic paint dries really fast, um, so I can't like... Uh, you know, wash it off easily. Like if it's uh, oil paint and I mess up, it's pretty easy. You just, you know, some uh, mineral spirits on a towel and you wipe it off and you can get actually get it all off, uh, any new stuff that you put on. Uh, whereas with uh, acrylic, it's a lot harder to do that. Okay, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.